The No Limit Gang have been fighting numerous enemies on various fronts for decades, with two of the main conflicts ultimately seeing the most feared enemies from each area lose their lives. KTS Von and Dre from Lakeside had lost their lives six years apart, and Black Mob's most feared killer shooter Shells had also lost his life in the war, but No Limit themselves had also suffered heavy losses in the streets. The passing of their most feared shooter Mad Max was a devastating loss, and unfortunately the other war with their rivals from Pocket Town would heat up drastically in 2020, with an enormous amount of bloodshed being witnessed as people on both sides would lose their lives back to back. A Pocket Town member by the name of Greasy, real name Eric Chapman Jr, would be killed in McKinley Park on the 1st of May 2020 at age 30. He was shot in the chest after an argument with another man around 2.30am. Two months later on July the 13th 2020, a prominent Pocket Town and KTS member KTS Rio, real name Lee DeMario Cameron, would be sitting in a car at a gas station on the 7000 block of South Damon Avenue, when a silver SUV pulled up and somebody started shooting, with Rio later being pronounced dead in hospital. It was believed that the hit on KTS Rio was a personal revenge attack due to Rio allegedly killing a No Limit OG by the name of Boss Blizz back in 2011. The next death would come on September the 28th, 2020, when Pocket Town's K-Dog, real name Kevin Forbes, would be shot on the 6900 block of South Woodlawn Avenue, later being dropped off at St. Bernard Hospital with a gunshot to the head, with him being pronounced dead on arrival. Several other individuals would lose their lives from Pocket Town over the course of 2020, with threads on Reddit suggesting as many as six people would lose their lives in this period of only a few months. But in 2021 would come a devastating loss for No Limit, when a beloved friend of theirs that was supposedly out of the streets would lose their life as a result of this conflict. Gregory Jackson III, aka Lil Greg, was a member of NLMB and close friend of G Herbo. But on January the 28th, 2021, Greg would visit the Studio 19 Barbershop at 1931 South State Street. Story has it that he would come face to face with a Pocket Town affiliate that he had a personal feud with at the barbershop. No confrontation took place there and then, as it said both individuals involved were not personally shooters, but each man would apparently call their respective group of friends to find out whether or not a move needed to be made. Ultimately, the other individual left and Greg remained in the barbershop, but he wouldn't be safe there. It was later reported that while sitting in the barbers, somebody would walk in and shoot him in the face. After Greg's death hit the news, the police would name him firmly as a friend of G Herbo and a member of the NLMB gang. Apparently, Greg was like a brother to G Herbo, with Herbo releasing a long heartfelt statement about the loss, as did other No Limit members like Mally, Greg clearly was plugged into the rap game because even 21 Savage posted him after his passing. This murder would hit G Herbo particularly hard, with Herb later admitting that it was this loss that sent him into a spiral of alcoholism. What's well, some shit that when you sit by yourself you just get depressed about like? Thinking about my little brother though, where I go like right now. He passed away in January, January 28th. I'll be thinking about him a lot because that shit wasn't really for him. I ain't gonna lie, like sometimes I'll be feeling like a nigga did something to him just to hurt me. I don't know, I was drinking a lot. I went into like a slump, like a real like just emotional slump, just drinking all day, every day, going to the studio, drinking, 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 drinking. A Pocket Town affiliate would end up being linked to the vehicle used in the murder of Lil Greg, being arrested with a gun in the getaway car, but ultimately not being charged in connection with the murder. Interestingly, the gun used in this crime would end up being connected to three Navy SEALs who had been busted running a gun racket in Chicago for years, with the news later reporting that US soldiers in Kentucky were selling weapons across state lines to Pocket Town gang members who were using those guns to settle scores on the street. In the aftermath of Lil Greg's death, Lil Don from Pocket Town would post to Instagram, mocking his ops and suggesting that Lil Greg was the biggest scorer of 2021. But following this, what would appear to be a brutal revenge attack would take place. Clips circulated seeming to suggest that a memorial party was being held on K Dog from Pocket Down's birthday, with many Pocket Town members said to be attending the party that took place on March the 26th, 2021. In what police would later describe as a mass shooting in Pocket Town, it's alleged that a number of people pulled up to the event on 2500 block west. 79th Street and begun shooting into the crowd indiscriminately as people were leaving the party. Eight people were shot and the police claimed to have recovered more than 100 shell casings from outside the venue. One individual believed to have been hit in the shooting was arrested in a car speeding to the hospital with police finding a gun in slide lock suggesting that all of the bullets in the clip had been fired recently. With later footage from a security camera being released apparently showing Pocket Town members returning fire but I can't show you that here. One witness who was a marine veteran would tell the news that his experience of the scene was like something out of Desert Storm. Unfortunately, as a result of this shooting, Spook, real name Dante Thomas, would be killed by a gunshot to the head being pronounced dead at the scene. Another Pocket Town affiliate by the name of Lord was shot in the head and taken to hospital in critical condition, later passing away, with another affiliate by the name of Denny G being shot in the stomach and later being seen on social media recovering in the hospital. No Limit members would celebrate following this tragic shootout. Some would publicly show love to Lil Greg after the incident, with Cairo apparently going on to call Faro from No Limit the Savage 
image of the year, but that Newphoria naturally would never last. It's said that retaliation would come soon after this, and in the aftermath, numerous shootings had been recorded in No Limit territory. It's claimed that eventually that other individual who Greg faced off with in the barbershop before being killed would eventually lose their life in a July 2022 shooting. Ultimately, this was just the latest in another long line of murders back and forth between these two crews. Clearly, there's been no love lost between these groups over the years, and the unfortunate truth is, it's really difficult to see the violence ever coming to an end, whilst those involved continue to escalate things on both sides. There really are no winners in the streets. The only thing even close to resembling a win is simply getting out with your life intact. G Herbo was lucky enough to do that, but in his own words, the trauma that he experienced on the street left him suffering from PTSD and addiction problems. It's truly hard to imagine what G Herbo or any of the No Limit soldiers went through over these decades-long wards. It's a uniquely tragic experience that very few people can truly say they identify with or relate to. But perhaps one of the most fascinating things to come out of this situation is the fact that several people mentioned throughout this story would sit down to do hours-long interviews, speaking their piece about everything that's gone down over the years. And in the final chapter of this story, we'll take a look at No Limit Cairo's explosive 2022 interview with 16 Shot and Visuals, where he finally broke down his true feelings about the war candidly. The ups, the downs, the brotherhood, and betrayal, leaving nothing off the table, and clearly not scared to hurt a few feelings.